What's shaking, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more U2. And we're going back to the 1987 album, The Joshua Tree. And the next tune, as I mentioned at the end of the last reaction, is Trip Through Your Wires. And in the intervening minutes, I've been thinking about the phrase, I'm inclined to take it more literally or at face value, trip wires, defense mechanisms set up to not only alert the person in question to any intruders, but to also incapacitate or otherwise delay the aggression or attack of whoever is approaching. Now, sometimes innocent folk can get caught up in trip wires, and tripping through your wires suggests that one is not avoiding them, but is perhaps, whether stumbling or otherwise, advancing upon the position of the person in question despite the presence of said wires. Surely only some of this, if any of it, will be relevant. Let's see what I can pick up on a first listen. This is U2, Trip Through Your Wires, from their 1987 album, The Joshua Tree. Okay. So Bono plays the harmonica? That's what people were saying? dancing on the guitar. It certainly had that sound, um, not just the way the the sound of the opening, but the the audio quality itself. It just had a, a live um, aural 
uh, characters. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was recorded to sound like that. I've certainly listened to tunes on different deep dives. I feel like there's a tickle in my throat. It made me cough during the reaction. I feel like it's going to happen again in the not too distant future. I'll try to get through all this before it does. Um, but yeah, again, the harmonica, fantastic, bluesy, with soul and swagger, and as I remember people saying when we heard harmonica before, I'm guessing that's Bono, which indeed it seemed to never happen when he was singing, it's seemingly a, a decent indication, and obviously other people's hands may be busy, of course people can play guitar with a you know harmonica on a stand or something, but I'm assuming that's the case, uh, his vocals really dipping into that blues, almost like soul preacher type of delivery. And I wondered, you know, a lot of the lines that I caught, at least in part, they made me think of a interpersonal romantic affection, and, um, trying to make that connection with another person. But there were a couple other moments where, and the idea of like, you know, need, having thirst and like needing water, needing the life of sustenance, I felt like in knowing their religious um, underpinnings of a lot of tunes, it felt like maybe there was something in that direction as well, and obviously a tune can function on multiple levels, so thematically I don't know quite what to make of this one, although, as I said, my majority sense was that it related to uh, the passion for another person. Uh, but yeah, again, just a cool blues rock with a bit of soul, uh, church feeling um, live performance. Uh, and one which I think highlights, as I've been talking about in a number of reactions lately, Edge's unique guitar playing. It's like, I've heard great guitar, including from some groups I've known a long time, and when I've do, done these deep dives in the last couple of years, I've come to know a lot of other great guitar players, like Johnny Marr, never really listened to the Smiths all that much, one or two tunes, and then I listen to more of their stuff, it's like, oh wow, he really plays guitar in a unique way, and a different way here, certainly, but the edge, it's like his own, he's in his own alleyway when it comes to guitar work, and it's not just that, like, rapid-fire, shimmering type of playing, and some of the other, like, you know, long stroke melodic runs and just a really uh, characteristic style of guitar. So enjoying that, enjoying the vocals. I did catch the bass a bit more on this one, those drum flourishes. So it really is all the parts. I felt bad when I mentioned Bono and Ed specifically in the last reaction, which again, those parts really do stand out to me, but it is the whole, it is the, the coming together of the different elements. So let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.